wasn't there we there we go i don't know sometimes it happens good morning everyone the stream <laughs> the stream tech <laughs> the stream deck like died you want to hit crunch and it went doo -doo -doo. yeah well i went to unmute the mic and like a split second before my finger touched it it was like boop it just went blank and i was like <laughs> and then it was like boop -a -dip -a -doo -dip, and then came back and i'm like okay cool that was good timing good morning how's everyone doing how is everyone's uh tuesday morning well, we have we're not like halfway through January it's only the yet. Seventh. It's the first week still. Yeah, I think it's because like last week was the beginning mm -hmm. of January. Mm -hmm. That this week I'm like we're halfway through, but that's not true. We won't be halfway through till like the end of the week. Mm -hmm. That's how weeks work. There's four weeks. Sick in bed. That's not good, Becca. I saw some other people talking about being sick also. The flu is widespread right now. So. Yeah, that's that's not ideal. It's not ideal. So hopefully, uh, hopefully anyone that is sick can start feeling better. I, um, I gotta say, I, I'm... I'm thankful um, that we've been well. That being said, historically, it's been around this time that yeah. we get sick. Which means nothing. I mean, it really means nothing. But we generally do pretty good throughout the year. We might get sick, uh, you know, once or twice. In a year, and that's about it. But one of those is almost always certainly in January. So it's like, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So, but we're not, we're not traveling. No. So, that, that's, you know, that's a big difference too, is because like, like last year we had Chef gone, and we had a bunch of people here, mm -hmm. and we went out and did more stuff. And mm -hmm. this year we had less people here and didn't go out like as much. So, Brandon says historic disease. It's historic. Mal, did you get a flu shot? You did. I did. Mal got a flu shot. When we did all of our shots for China, that's when they gave you yours. Yes. They didn't give me one. Well, and I and didn't I'm. Didn't they offer? And you were like, no. No, that is not what happened. Didn't they offer something? And you were like, no. I thought they offered it to you. No, they didn't offer it to me because I was accepting any and all shots. And they just never did. Because they gave us completely, well, not completely different shots, but like. We saw different people. Yeah, we saw different people and they gave us different shots. And I got a shot you didn't get and you got a shot I didn't get. And I didn't get the flu shot. And then I was just, I never. Publix gives you a $10 discount. They give you ten dollar. Oh, they give discount. you a um, ten dollar gift card for Publix. Hmm. And I think we get like five dollars in rewards for our health insurance on a special credit card. Yeah, Brandon says I believe you expressed being upset about not being offered the flu shot slash the discrepancies in general. Yeah, I felt like yeah they just never offered it. What was the thing I got that you didn't? Um, a booster for something. Hep A or no. no, you got Hep A. Tetanus. 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 But it had also been like twenty years or something since well, my last tetanus shot. I have an appointment for February because we're supposed to have our Hep A updated. Yeah. If ever, it's nine months from the first one, so it's series two for that after China. So okay. I made an appointment for myself. And um, I'll have the second series of that, and then I'll be set. And then I could get tetanus done. Okay. Also, you would get a tetanus shot. <gasps> yes. Not like I'm going to plan to get Tetris. Or, not Tetris. Tetanus. Tetanus and Tetris sound very similar. Mm -hmm. Anyway. 
Also, good luck to Rachel on your job interview. I saw that scroll by. My brain was still thinking of tetanus and tetras, but wanted to make sure I told you. And let's read some of these early alerts here. As I choke down on uh, bread. Choke that. <laughs> choke on bread. <laughs> choke that bread. <laughs> Crunchy Tuna gives a sub to Adris10, putting Adris10 at five months. Thank you, Crunchy Tuna. 15 months for missing no leader. 15 months, sadly, I have the flu right now. But I hope you guys don't get it. People are sick. Mm-hmm. People are sick. But also, like, I think after the holidays is pretty common, especially if, you, if you're seeing a lot of, like, family. Because if you're especially taking a plane anywhere. Yeah. Yep. If you're traveling. I hate to say it, but the... It's the the odds of getting sick go up so much the minute you get on a plane. That's why that one time we went, wherever we went, we had the face mask on. Yeah. And everyone was like, what do you have? And I was like, it's what we don't have. I Kept... wore one when I went to see my dad right before his heart surgery. Well, yeah. And they were like, mmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's, you will look sick yeah but it's also like uh moses parting the red sea because when you're walking through the airport people just like get out of your way so it's kind of nice anyway missing no later i hope you feel better i got three months up from uchi place yay three months congrats on your plus five months from mega melee plus finally at month five i was gone from the streams during christmas break but i'm glad to be back i'm glad you're here and I hope, I, I hope you stay well. 500 bits from Cobalt Custard. Good morning. Can't think of a better way to kick off my birthday than breakfast with the grandparents. Happy birthday. I hope your birthday is great and sickness free. Everyone this morning gets a free I hope you stay well card. Because I, I don't want people to be sick. Being sick, like even if it's not, you know, even if it's like a run of the mill, like cold or something like that. It's, it's, it's not fun. It's just not fun. It's miserable. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're when you're a kid, there's a certain level of like, oh, I won't have to go to school, and like that's just completely gone when you're older. You're just like, this is this is terrible. I wish I was at work. I wish I was working. I wish I was making money for my family. Instead, I'm just home and and miserable. Did you put a gummy on my toast? Why would you? Why would you do that? Coffee. You want another one? No. <laughs> I like those, but like, imagine the texture. Of, stop. Imagine the texture of toast. Now, you're trying to chew through that, which would be a normal operation. Now, something like gummy in there. Goodness, why would you? Why would you do such a thing? Kind of swallowed that gummy. Anyway, now that I've choked that down. Happy birthday again, Cobalt. 16 months from Juvenation. 16 months! I'm still trying. I can't get it down. There we go. I got there. Seven months from Sparks 15. Morning, grandparents. Morning, Sparks. 16 months also from BC 2014. 16. Can't stay long as I have papers to write, but hope you're having a good morning. So far, so good. So far, so good. Yesterday was a good day. Gummies in my toast today. Just one. Not plural. Not yet. I put them away. I only had like four. I was right. They were one up. See, now you have an extra life. <laughs> you can afford to die. Please I, don't try. It was 1400 bits from Scooter Baconator who said, appropriately, gummy on Steven's toast. 
It doesn't work. Don't do it. I've done some weird food things. Here's a vlog not that long ago where I, like, I had, like, a peanut butter sandwich. And I just loaded it up with, like, crispy M&M's. That was good. I'd recommend that. It's not, like, the most... It's not the easiest things to, like, eat. It's kind of a choking hazard a little. But, like, you know, this... That, you know, it doesn't belong there. It's not where it goes. 13 months from Omega Cyborg. 8 months from Konosuga. Ah, uh, sweet, almost a Twitch baby. Hi, guys. I had mentioned recently that I just ordered a, a tech Techo. Any advice for a beginner? Um, try and do something every day, even if it's not what you had planned. Like, when I first started, I was like, I'm going to write, and then I'm going to either add a photo or draw every day. And that was too much. So I kind of just leave it fluid and, you know, try and use it every day. I mean, having a vague idea about what you want to do with it when you order it is probably yeah. smart, but yeah. 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 I use my daily cool. one as my like personal journal. Yeah. So like on every day I write an entre entre entry. I write one entourage. <laughs> Nine months from uh, Wise and Rail says uh, something something Twitch baby hugs and cute ninja kittens who attack from under boxes. So basically, I need more ninja kittens. I was gonna say basically all cats. Because when 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 they're under something and you have your your hand down there and they go. Whoosh. Oh man, do you remember that one vlog where we had a box from the um, scratching post? at the old place and Kepler was in it under the paper and his eyes oh, were super yes, big yes. and then he ducked that's back actu down. That's actually one of my favorite <sighs> gifts. He's so cute. Um, whenever you search like a, a gif like whatever thing, site that has, uh -huh. like, that has the stuff you search that's one of my favorite ones. I don't know how to find it. You could probably find it with Steven Vlog. Kepler. Or Kepler, but like I love that one. It's like it's so cute. He's up and he comes down. He's so cute. It's a good one. Eleven months from Tanner C sixty four. Good morning, grandparents. Wishing you both a fantastic day. Thank you, Tanner. It's it's because yesterday went so well. I have really high hopes about this week. And also, I'm like not that far behind right now on vlogs. I released two yesterday. Uh -huh. I have two f ready for today. I think I have two ready for the next day also. I slowed down from doing four a day just because there's some other stuff going on. And I'll tell you now, I'll remind you at the end of the stream, but um, today at some time, time unknown, I'm doing a first 20 stream. Uh, there's some good games lined up. I'm excited about it. So like, if you're interested in watching that, Make sure that the notifications on Twitch and Twitter are working. Because <laughs> I do not know when it will happen. Just, like, at some point today. But it's going to be today. Because it needs to be. Uh, Superior LP resubscribes at Tier 2 for two months. That's Gold Toast. Two months was actually on the second, but missed breakfast stream because of OT at work. It is what it is. Overtime. Overtime. Took my brain one second. We don't have overtime. There is no concept of overtime. Over it's just work. Overtime is just work more. <laughs> Which we do. Aw, but it's getting better. Yeah. It's getting better. Could you nice. um call for a kitty? I'm cold. And I have the blanket, so one of am them... I your, am I your cat butler? They listen to you. Sagan, Cap! Here, boys! Kitty, 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 come here. Alright, I've put out, I've put out... Surely one of them will. The alarm. i put out the alarm. <laughs> Maybe we'll get one. It's like, it's like we're fishing, but it's cats. 16 months from Spiffla. Thank you, Spiffla. 15 months from Miss Ray Moose. 15 is almost 16. Hope you have a great week. Thank you, Rachel. And again, good luck on your, uh, your interview. Uh, seven months from Furious Kitty. It's a good name when we're talking about kittens anyway. Okay, 12 months from Vegetable Sorbet. A whole year. 
Huge thanks to both of you for untold years of entertainment, and here's to many more. I appreciate it. Chess says jacket is an easier solution than cat. Chaz, you will be very happy to know. It's a good song. Uh, that I got a Christmas present. That is a jacket. And it stays up here on my chair. And now, if I need a jacket, I have one. Up here. Up here. And it's not as heavy as your coat, which you were. Exactly. Yeah. Chess says, I saw good for you. Thank you. People are bringing up a lot of good points. Jacket is not as cute. Jacket does not purr. It's not heated. There's no internal uh, temperature of the jacket. There's also no internal organs in the jacket. That'd be a very weird feature. I'm saying, like, the, the cats are a heat source. They're Correct. not. They generate heat. They're they, not They insulation. generate energy, yes. <laughs> So it's like not the same, but in a in a in a pinch. Yeah. In a pinch, it's good. Eleven months from Adoodle. Thank you, Adoodle. Almost a year. Fifteen months from Cybe. Get your shots, Grandpa, and Happy New Year. When do we go get the things? What? The, Our shots? The level two. We're supposed to do it in February. February. Make an appointment. Call today. You'll call now. Well, I mean, can I just get my flu shot then? Or it'd be too late if it's February. I have to get through January. Yeah. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> Every it's it's really hard. Like, and I know it Let's might go on Thursday. it might sound ridiculous because like especially a flu shot it doesn't even take long. But like everything is a mental everything is a mental weight related to time in some way because everything takes time so and I'm sure that some people can relate to this like the idea of like I have to do this thing that was not previously on the schedule if something comes out of nowhere and it's like oh you have to do this thing my first thought is like that is going to take a time but I could do it yeah. and I, certainly, I don't have any problem with shots so you have trouble with, like, live, like, video of medical stuff. Which I think is very different than a shot. Like, you were like, I'm fine with medical things. Oh, and here then, we go. like, we watch it on TV. Here we go. First off, I've never... And it's I've like one never... of those live action, First off, real medical things. I have Steven's never like, no. in my life said I was fine with medical things. Where did you hear yeah. that? Historically, like and my family would tell you. I'm not fine with that. Okay, okay. What is your idea of medical thing? I like when you had this taken care of. Yeah, I can watch them do that. And I did. That's different. That's different. That's There's... not different. Stephen George, the young man that can handle shots easier than Cool Whip. <laughs> and I'd rather have a shot than Cool Whip. It's like, it's different though. Like, I can't watch the surgery shows. Yeah. Can't watch them. Like, I don't want to see inside a person. That's why we got this skin. <laughs> That's why we got That's skin. That's why we got skin. If you, were if you were supposed to see inside people, we wouldn't have this pesky skin in the way. Right? No. I'm just saying. So like that's that's a whole thing. Is I don't I'm I can't I don't do well with that. But can I get shots? Yeah. Load me up, baby. Put them anywhere you want. Maybe not anywhere. I can think of. I can think of at least one place. <laughs> I really wouldn't want a shot. But otherwise, like I, I'm pretty fine with shots. But that's not the same thing as is watching something get cut open. And I'm totally okay. I have no I have no problem with like blood and gore. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No. I thought I heard the door. No. I have no I, I have no problem with like blood and gore, you know what I mean? But if it's real, then you have trouble. Yeah. I don't know why. I I think that that's like you know, that's not a like that's I think it's normal, actually. I think most people can take 
the fake stuff better than they can the real stuff, I would assume. I think it's a reasonable thing. I keep putting my fingers in this jam. Eat the jam. I don't know, like... Oh, it's the best song. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, a lot of people say the same. As long as I know that what I'm watching was produced, no problem with it. And I can watch some, I can watch some weird, awful stuff too. <sighs> okay, move on. Sorry, I had, I had to watch some stuff in film school. Is this the dance party song? This is the dance party song. Penguin Frog says, your resident EMT isn't bothered by real stuff. I mean, presumably that qualifies you very well to be an EMT. I would be a bad EMT, unless while on the job, they continually told me we were filming a movie. <laughs> Don't worry, Steven, this is scene six. We're like, oh, okay. <laughs> blood everywhere, we're like, it's scene six. Then I'd be okay. I would be fine. It's so interesting though, because like everyone is different. I love reading chat to see how people deal with all this stuff. It's neat. Uh, let's see, we got a two month resub from Cookie Monster Alter Ego. Catching the stream as I'm homesick. Took my child to Chuck E. Cheese. Hot bed of villainous. I bet at this time of year. Airplanes? Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> the, the, yeah, yeah, because like, no offense to children everywhere. Not that I, I don't know how many children we have watching, but children are, uh, harbingers of disease. Yeah. And... For multiple reasons, like, and they're you, around more children, and they don't always, like, cover their nose or mouth, or... I mean, they well, also... Well, they're, they're children. They, they're young, and their immune systems aren't as strong. They're children. And they go where other children are. Like, school and Chuck E. Cheese. So you just, you put... Oh, God. Renee says, well, and they sneeze in your mouth. Sorry, I just got... <laughs> just need a moment. All right, I'm better. Uh, <laughs> that happens to me with the cat. But, like, it's a, <laughs> it's a cat. I forgive him. I have not had trouble with that. They don't yeah. do that to me. Oh, the cats. The cats. I was thinking, what babies? I know, right? So why did you go on that train? <laughs> because that's that's my only relation to that you know if Renee, if Renee's like kids sneeze in my mouth I can't be like you know me too because I, I'm not around children um and if same it, so yeah well the cats at least sneeze in my mouth <laughs> they love me more they sneeze in my mouth they don't sneeze in your mouth <laughs> cool enjoy that I won't. Five months from Yoshi Bro 23 Last semester I had class start at 9 every day, so I'm really happy to be able to make Breakfast Stream live this semester. I'm glad you're here. And uh, I, I, I know the plight of the early classes. I had some 8 a.m.s and they sucked. I did not like them. Three bits from Satsy. Mal got a flu shot. Mal got a flu shot. Mal got a shot that I somehow never even got. I get a booster to survive Rusty Knives, so between us two, we're gonna have healthy lives. That was clever. Satsy says, I can't afford 5,000 bits. So here's the lyrics for, for 300 bits. Also, that was, that was well done. Man, imagine, imagine if before every bit alert that I had to do, that I was given like 30 seconds to write something. Imagine that the quality of the songs would just like skyrocket. They wouldn't Imagine. all. They wouldn't all be about like poop or whatever it is I say. Fourteen months from Serious Kano. Fourteen. This is fine. Followed by sixteen months from Aileen, who says sixteen. That was real creepy. I was literally in the process of saying the word, and then it came out of the TV. Timing. Incredible timing. Wow. It was Maylene who wrote that, but that was 2,000 bits from Danny. 
Really, there's more A's, so it's just A. <laughs> I finished the new episode of Skyrim yesterday, so these bits are to help pay for Steven's horse addiction. Please help Steven. He really needs his horses. Horse. Horses. Horse. Horses. Horse. Horses. 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 I don't think we can, as a group, agree if it's horses or horse. Well, I have the answer. What? It happens both ways in that GTA episode. When uh -huh. it first happens, everyone goes, horse, horse, horse. Yeah. But on the next time it happens, everyone goes, horses, horses, horses. Oh. And personally, if you're going to be chanting about the concept of horses, I think making them plural so there are more horses. But like Pumbaa Rattle says, there's never a wrong way. So, you know, keep that in mind. Also, Danny, I'm glad that you enjoyed the episode of Skyrim. If, uh... If anyone watching has not seen, <laughs> still thinking about those horses. Which ones? All of them. <laughs> if you haven't seen the lay the, the Stephen and Friends play Skyrim, I'm so glad that there's a Nightbot command for it. Um, be sure to check it out. It's three hours long and boring as it seems. <laughs> I think we managed to make it fairly entertaining. But it also is, like, you know, yeah, it is Monopoly. So, like, the first two-thirds are fine, and the last third is a slog. <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's, it, it's a game. It could have been worse. Some of us threw it. We were like, eh. I don't <laughs> Chess wanna... says, I tried. Yeah, I, I don't want to reveal, like, the winner or anything of the game, but, like, it was just funny because the winner as is typical in, in Monopoly, you know, kind of shows up before the end, like, hmm, looks like this might be the person who wins. So the table collectively is like, should we, like, stop? <laughs> and Steven said, no. I was no. like, no. And Chess was like, but Steven. I, I don't like, I don't, I want to finish the thing you, we start, you know what I mean? Slogopoly is the better name. The winner is Todd Howard. Yankee Gal 13 gives us up to Gummy Toast 15. Yankee Gal, thank you. A thing I hope to never eat again. If you melted down the, the gummies. Oh, no, just move on. Just saying, it could be a jam. JV resubscribed for 10 months, took the day off, and excited to be here live. Hope all is well, grandparents. Thank you, JV. Enjoy your day off. Three and a bit from Jam. Happy 2020, Stephen Amell. I, uh, I slept through the guest week. Sorry, Brandon says, I want to finish the thing we start will be printed on your tombstone, and Jess says, LOL, Brandon. <laughs> 300 bits from Jam. <laughs> Happy 2020, Stephen Amal. I slept through the guest week of Breakfast Stream because tiredness, but I finished my first TV show of 2020 with BBC's Dracula from the creators of Sherlock. And it followed a similar 90 minutes trio format. First episode was fun and twisty. Second episode was alright. Last episode, oh god, what? that was a thing. Your mileage may vary, but I had more fun than cringe. Curious what everyone's first game slash movie slash show of 2020 was. I've had on old Mystery Science Theater episodes while I've been painting. Because it's endless. Because it's making. endless. It's endless. And... It's like, oh, this episode I really liked, and I'll just put it on the background, because I've seen all of them, so it's... I'm trying to think of, like, what game I played. I think I think the first game I played in... Tw in well, no. We had company, so I don't know what the technically... For, probably Jackbox or something, but... Um, I played through... No, I didn't play through, but I, I started playing, again, um, Kirby's Dream Course. Because I was, I was just, it's on the, the Super NES virtual console thing uh -huh. for the Switch. And um, I've, I've always known that it was possible to get straight one-ups, not one-ups, holes in ones mm -hmm. on, on the first world. And I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Because there's the suspend feature where like you can save state right before you take a shot. Yeah. And then like figure out how to do it. Yeah, Brandon, you can show it if you want. I posted a picture on the Discord the other day. But, like, I was like, I'm going to figure out how to do this. So I did. So you're going to do that over and over and over again, and then you're going to play that exact course when you meet 
up with John next. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, first off, I was I'm going single player. Yeah. But yeah, um, it's it's actually remarkably difficult. A lot of them are you can get hold of one easy. Uh huh. And I could do it as a kid, but there's some that I had never managed to figure out how to do it. So, Aduda says you could have just done the rewind and not use states. There's rewind. Yes. Uh oh. It's like press and hold. L or something. Oh, well. Whoops. Pinkus said Stephen played a game for himself. Well, I mean, during a time where I'm otherwise preoccupied. I'll play games then. Um, so I, I worked through uh, that thing. I think the hardest one was uh, level three. God, level three. That was one that, as a kid, I could never figure out how to do hole in one. So I just kept trying different things like inching closer to the hole with different things I tried. And then eventually... ZL and ZR. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing. I guess that would have been... I don't think it's a thing on the NES one, but the Super NES one? Well, you could probably only rewind a certain amount of time, like 30 seconds or something. So creating safe states is a little safer. Because if it takes me longer than 30 seconds, mm -hmm. I'd have to replay everything yeah. until I got back to the thing. But... Yeah, I was able to get holes in one on everything. It made me made me happy. I don't. You can't do perfect courses on every single course in single player. I know that's not possible, but some of them you can. So, I would probably work towards that because I just really enjoy that game. Six months from Flash to Firefox. It says, "Yay, six months! Thanks to you both for all you do and for the smiles you both give me. I appreciate it more than you know." Thank you, Flash. Happy to be around. Happy to be creating. 500 bits from uh, Kayla D. Christine. Will there be a period uh, so behind vlog watchers can catch up? Uh, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Do you mean like we would not release stuff? I mean, to answer your question, like, no. I mean, vlogs will eventually be one a day, like Brandon says. Yeah, once but you that's, get caught but up. But that's because they'll be caught up. So, like, if if you're watching, at least on average, two a day, mm -hmm. you will eventually be current. Because that is more than I will ultimately be putting out a day. Jam says, do they mean fan favorites? A minute delay on fan favorites. Oh. Oh. Um... I mean, no. <laughs> There's. Because, I mean, it's hard to judge that with, you know, everyone with how many people watch. So basically, here's, here's the process. I'll just tell you the process because people might find this interesting. After December 31st vlog comes out, at that point, we will wait some amount of time, probably like, a week or so probably wait like a week and then at that point I will give all of the material to Dan mm -hmm. so like you probably have about a week after December ends that'd be my guess at beans You'll Here probably use that time to get more vlogs done and scheduled, and also do some more Let's Play stuff. I mean, there's vlogs are still going to come out. Oh, okay. I'm not going to hold on to 2020 until okay. fan favorites are done. Okay. That, that'd be insane. Okay. Sorry. Okay. It's just because because fan favorites... I didn't know if you wanted to release it. Okay. No. Yeah, 2020 will start coming out immediately. Okay. Um, the, the problem with waiting is that fan favorites takes a long time to do. It could take Dan two weeks or something. Mm -hmm. um, and that, but after that's, that week, Dan's going to have everything and it's not going to be like updated for Dan. Exactly. I want to. I don't want to give stuff to Dan until it's all like ready. Yeah. And then you don't want to have to have him like deal with updating the list. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. So, so to, to answer Kayla's question a little bit better, like there's not going to be a, there is a technically a period, but mm -hmm. it's like a week. That's a better answer. So there's not going to be like a long period, but yeah, we generally wait like a week. Um, yeah. 
So whenever the 31st comes out, which will be by the end of this week, mm -hmm. by the end of, so let's uh, say like by the end of next week. That's the best, that's the best answer I could give. And then Dan will get all the stuff and start working on it. But like he's, Dan is super busy. Yeah, and mm, at some point he's gonna have some time where he's not working. Don't worry about it. It's... He'll be over here. Never mind. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Steven knows. He's just not thinking. Oh. Oh. That's like months. No, what? not... No. That's like months from now. <sighs> That's not Don't what do I'm, this that's to not me. what I'm talking about. Don't do this to me, because now I'm like, what on earth is she talking about? Tell me later. You've only instilled mild fear into my body. Three bits from Jam again, who says, uh, for your consideration for first 20s, I know you need to fill the Mandela Effect hole of first 20s with Terraria. Yeah, we're doing Terraria today. We're doing it. because. Yeah. You're, you're painting. I'm painting. You're painting. Um, definitely doing Terraria today. Just because the Mandela effect. I thought we did it, we didn't do it. Uh, Disco Elysium, Just Shapes and Beats, The Talus Principle, Antichamber, Plague Tale, Innocence, Crosscode, Chroma Squad, Book of Demons, uh, Far Lone Sales, My Time at Portia, The Sexy Brutal, Ghost of a Tale, Super Hot or Distance. I'll go ahead and tell you that one of those other games on in that list is also first 20 today. Which one? It's a surprise. But one of those I have lined up that we're definitely doing today. So, how many games do I have? I have three games lined up that we're doing? Maybe four? I don't know. And uh, I've really enjoyed every month letting like the audience pick a game mm -hmm. where I just, I'm like, hey, type out games and then if i see some that are matching up then we do them that's fun so i'd like to do that again today too yankee gal gives us up to super bowl mania that's coming up when is it? it's early february right uh-huh so like soon soon the packers are still in did the patriots are out aren't they yeah they are what what year is it it's 2020 sadsy gifted us up to cool whip See, the Packers need to win, so I can post the Packers won the Super Bowl clip. Thank you, Satsy. I'd prefer a <laughs> shot. <laughs> Just give it right in my arm. Uh, Luca18 resubscribes for 14 months. Luca, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, six months from 8 Draft 8. Basically, children are just gross. <laughs> I mean, they get better. They get better. Part of it is they stop going to Chuck E. Cheese, because that's where the germs are. <laughs> I think that's part of it. Uh, we got 10 months from uh, Luca44. Just just some emotes. George Surprise, Ma, Pa, Money, and V. Luca, thank you. Um, we got uh, 15 months from Xenomonicles. Magfest exhaustion is a real thing. Maybe come next year, please? I know it isn't your thing, and you probably already talked about it. Uh, honestly, Magfest... It looks like they're, like, the people that we know, mm -hmm. it looks like they have more fun at MAGFest than any other convention. Just saying. Like, as a, as a concept. They seem to really, really enjoy MAGFest. We've never went. We might at some point. The problem is it really overlaps badly with the other things that we do. Yeah. Because it happens right at the turn of the new year, which is the same time that, uh... For the last two years, we've hosted some sort of New Year's thing with friends, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we tend to see uh, like a meal and masse in Januarys. So like, there's a lot of stuff that's it's a lot at once. So that's one of the things that. And we don't know next year's plan yet, but we have some things we might be doing. So. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't want to promise anything I can't keep, but for what it's worth, MAGFest looks fun. And I, I, I like I like conventions. 
Uh, 300 bits from Goldmage162. Good morning. Mal, a friend of mine does bullet journaling and it's really helped her. I remember you did as well, and so I figured I'd give the shot, but now I can't find any vlog slash video where you explained how you did it personally. Could you talk a bit about that and remind me where you are where you did? Um... Did, actually, have you done a video where... I haven't. That's why you can't find it. Yeah. Um, you've done a video explaining, like, you do it, it's but not, my, yeah, like... It was my... Was it the unboxing video for my Hobonichi? Yeah, I think so. Or I talked a little bit well, about did, it. Did you tell me that you wanted to do, like... Uh, yeah, I want to do a mid-month mail video. Maybe wanna... more, like, May or April. You want to do when a Malmix video. I've been using video. my weekly for a few months. Yeah. So. At some point, I will. Um, I do have a couple things posted on Instagram. Like, oh. I, I posted one of my weekly spreads that I do, mm -hmm. like, before I added in things. Hmm. So. I have so much washi tape. So much washi tape. It keeps arriving. I didn't order all that much. I also got a nice gift box from someone who was like, I'll send you stuff, and it's all really cool. And now I'm like, ooh, I have all this stuff. I have to use it. And now I have a huge variety. There's a lot of tape in our home. Yeah. It's nice. I don't... I just got some stuff, and it's like space cats. And it's like cat outlines, and they're like purple with like stars on them. And they like walk through like 3D cubes and like... There's like stars and stuff. It's perfect. It's perfect. Anyway. <laughs> at some point. I'll do a video. Mal wants to do an actual Mal makes video. I think it's I think it's actually kind of neat you're branching out. Yeah. You started with pie. Uh-huh. Moving to notebooks. And journaling. 666 bits from Furious Kitty. Uh, Happy New Year, Mal and Steven. Great job on the vlogs. Unfortunately, now I'm the one who's not caught up. On another note, I've had trouble eating lately, but watching you cook and eat makes me at least a little hungry, so thanks for keeping me alive. Doing what we can. And, um, I hope, hope things get a little bit better in, in that regard. Um, we, uh, honestly, and maybe it, the vlogs for that aren't out yet, but, like, when everyone was visiting, we ate, um... I'm gonna say poorly. I think everyone around the holidays eats not the food maybe that they should, but like we we went from holidays to people are in town and just going and getting some f food, and you know we could have could have eaten better. So now we're like our stomachs have been really messed up, and we're um, trying to get some of them green vegetables and stuff back into us. Yeah, because like in the south. The idea of vegetables is like fried vegetables. Fried okra, fried yeah, potatoes, fried yeah. everything. I also went, I, I also ate like a million cookies. Yeah, you did. And you were like not feeling well and you there were was, like, Mel, I don't feel there well. There was one was night like, I was cookies. so sick. And then like 10 minutes later, I caught you eating a cookie. It's subconscious. They're there. They're so good. <laughs> I don't think about the fact that that's what made me sick. I'm just like, cookie, good. <laughs> I can't help you. I know, I'm not, you, I'm impossible to help. Eight months from uh, Rasaka Gaming. Good morning, Stephen Mal. Eight months and my Twitch baby's almost here. Excited for my 20th birthday tomorrow. Have a great day and thank you for everything you do. Happy early birthday. That's awesome. Your birthday doesn't fall on a, on a stream day, so I gotta do a, a, a slightly early, early, early birthday. So early birthday to you, Rosaka. <laughs> Sassy says, find a blanket to put over the cookies. Is it like a, if Steven doesn't see it, it doesn't exist? Like That works. Yeah. That works really well. If you put something in like a cabinet where it's not out, it's gone. <laughs> I struggle with object permanence to an insane <laughs> level. Um, if something is on the counter, I will eat all of it. But the minute it's in, it, if I can't see it, I'm like, oh, I forget. And actually, that's bad, because if we buy something and we don't know it's there, sometimes, like, it'll go bad, or by the time I catch it, I'm like, oh, my God, this goes bad in two days. We have to be careful about how we arrange things in the fridge. 
God forbid it get it gets put behind something in the fridge and we yeah. we don't see it. So we'll find it later and we'll be like, what? what we bought this? I gotta get better. Sassy gifted the sub to flu shot. <laughs> like I said, I prefer the flu shot over Cool Whip. I just don't like Cool, cool Whips. <laughs> you know, we all got our things. 15 months from Jason Jennings, 24. Happy fi uh, 15 months. All the best in 2020 to the both of you. Thanks for having me. Jay, thanks for being here. I know it's early for Jay. It is early for Jay. Mm -hmm. And I uh, hope you and your family are doing well. Uh, Satsy also gifted a sub to Cool Shot. <laughs> cool Shot 5. Is that supposed to be a shot filled with Cool Whip? Because I don't like it. But I would prefer a shot full of Cool Whip as opposed to a pie covered in, like, syringes. So I guess that's... I'm gonna stop talking about that. Alex May also gives a sub to Gwendomir, putting Gwendomir at 12 months. That's a year. And uh, BRZ1994 resubscribes for four months. Got to the end of the alert this morning. I mean, there'll be more, but, like, I did it for now. Alex May asked about cookies. Sorry. Brandon wrote, jabbed the whip in my leg, yeah? Elksma asked, asked, asked about Girl Scout cookies. Girl Scout cookies? Yeah. What favorites do people have? See, this is when I taught, you know, I'd have students who had Girl Scout cookies with, like, either younger siblings or, like, teachers with kids who were Girl Scouts. And, like, they sell them outside of Walmart here. They don't do that in Wisconsin, or at least they didn't when I was in Girl Scouts. You really? had to go door to door. Or, like, your mom would take the paper to work and then... Really? I never sold a lot of stuff like that. Oh, they've just always been like at Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. It's like if you were if you and were to ask mean, me where to get Girl Scout cookies, and it'd it's be like, nice because like Walmart. you can just get them and then you have them and they're there. Mm -hmm. You can pick them up when you buy them. You don't have to like wait for a delivery. Yeah. But what kinds do you like, Stephen? So growing up, um, like my mom, we could just go through these. My mom worked with coworkers mm -hmm. and their their kids were in Girl Scouts, so we would we would get cookies. We always got the exact same cookies. Yeah. Tell me which ones we got, Mal. Um, the chocolate covered peanut butter ones. The um, peanut butter patties. These ones. Tag alongs. Yep. They have different names. Girl Scouts uses two bakeries. Depending on where you and then, are. Yeah, yep. depending on where you live, the troops in your area order from a different bakery and they get a different name sometimes. Yep. So we always got the Caramel Delights, the Samoas. In Wisconsin, like that was my mom's favorite. Those are coconut. Yeah, I really like those, coconut and caramel and chocolate. But down here, at least where we live, they're Samoas. But they were caramel delights <coughs> when I was growing up. So. Yeah, I um. I would probably eat coconut stuff now, but as a kid, I was like, I had a big, like, mm -hmm. ad adversity, um, or I was averse to coconut for some reason. I think it's because of something my grandfather said once. See, I always liked coconut, like almond joys. I didn't like the almonds, so like mounds was way better. <laughs> Adversity to coconut. Um, yeah, when I was a kid, I tried something that was coconut and mm -hmm. I, I wasn't expecting it and I didn't like it. And my grandfather, my mom's dad was uh -huh. with us at the time and I remember going, oh, God, this is so gross. And I was young. I was really young. And my grandfather looked at me and he says, you know how you get rid of that coconut flavor? And I said, how? He said, you gotta lick the cat's butt. <laughs> and like that line has stuck with me forever. Like where he came, that's the sort of humor that he would, you know, he would use sometimes. James says, and you believe that? No, 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 no. It was, it wasn't a, uh, oh, okay. It was just, that was his, his punchline. It was not something I did, but it was, it was funny. And I've thought about that occasionally. Like if I have a bad taste in my mouth, I'd be like, well, I know the solution. Yeah, that was a bit, bit of my, a bit of my grandfather's humor. Oh, man. Anyway, sure we always, we always had, uh, tag alongs. They have toffee now. Oh, that would be good. Yeah. 
We always got the um, peanut butter patties and the peanut butter sandwich cookies. I mean, this is before I found out I had an Yeah, it was allergy. like, uh, did your family hate you? <laughs> I found out I was allergic in like high school. Okay. I started like having problems, so. But like, this was like when I was in Girl Scouts in fifth grade. Oh, I see. Shortbread was good. Yeah, honestly, A I didn't even- A lot of these even... are new to me. To me, Girl Scout cookies were just tagalongs, and I didn't even have any other ones until much, much, much later. Like, yeah. Well, these some... ones have the Girl Scout logo, the shortbreads do. That's their logo. At the some tagalong. point in college, I tried like a Thin Mint. Ah, oh, Thin Mints are good. And I was like, oh, okay. Not as good as a tagalong, but you know, Good. Ooh, they changed the lemon cookies this year. New lemon cookie. Mal's very invested in this. Satsy gives a sub. Know any Girl Scouts now. Satsy, we have to hope they're at Did Walmart. you ever know Girl Scouts? When I taught. Oh, you were. One teaching. of my That's friends right. at work was her kids were on Girl Scouts. That's fair. Satsy gives a sub to Floopy. Which is a good name. Thank you, Satsy. Danny gives a sub to Ted Switch. I think Ted Switch at five months. And then Yankee Gow gives a sub to Coconut Ice Cream. For me, specifically, like, looking back on it, I don't feel like coconut has much of a taste anyway. Depends. But when, I, when, when I've when i had it, it's it's like a texture thing. Mm -hmm. It's like stuff. Filler? I don't know. Like, you know, it's it's like, it's kind of like someone shredded up a bunch of paper and left it in a, in a piece of chocolate. You know what I mean? We so have a like, place here that um, they're on the little, little River waterfront. Yeah. One of those restaurants down there. Yeah. That has coconut shrimp. And I get it whenever we go down there for Shrimp Fest or Blue Crab Fest. Mm -hmm. And it's so good. Yeah, I mean. Adudel says you bought from your students. No, I bought from like my coworkers' kids. Cause like they would do Girl Scout cookies. I see. Yeah, I don't know. I would, um, I would be interested in trying coconut again in something. I think I I've had like it in it. chocolate since then, and it's it's fine. It's just we would sometimes have like a bag of coconut growing up, and I've had it fresh. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think it's been like super fresh because it was Wisconsin in a grocery store, so it was like shipped. <laughs> but like, yeah, I would sometimes eat it out of the like the baking bag of coconut and that like that was good i gave austin a coconut for his birthday once <laughs> I, pr I probably gave him something else too i don't remember that though i just remember giving him a coconut and i, rem I there's a video somewhere of that like a brief clip where he's shaking it oh i've been around a long time i've been shooting video <laughs> for way 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 too long have you tried coconut milk? No. I have. Not a fan. I don't like milk. So I don't know that I would like not cow milk. You know what I mean? Like if that's if that's basically what it's emulating, I'm like, well, then I'm not going to get I'm not going to be that excited. It depends exactly what you're having. Like if you have a young coconut, it's more watery, but if it's like a mature coconut, like with the hairy outside and like it has all the coconut inside like that's a lot thicker eight draft says you don't like milk period no <laughs> steven and i've talked about this before maybe on breakfast stream like where i grew up in wisconsin we have so many cows like milk was the expected drink when you were little at dinner like you know what do you want to drink with dinner milk that was the only option like can i drink it yes does it make me throw up no do i like it not really no you didn't no. grow up really drinking milk no, the only and, and I I talked about this a little bit before, but like we the only time we ever had milk was with donuts, so I associated milk with donuts. Mm -hmm. Milk was the dessert drink, not that it was the dessert drink, but it, it cuts it's what you put with it. It cut some of like the sweetness of mm -hmm. the donut, mm -hmm. and that was literally the only time I ever had it. Because growing up, when I had cereal, I would use milk. But when I was done with the cereal, you didn't drink that it. milk went straight down the drain. And as I got older, I realized that there was a 0% chance I was going to drink that milk. So I got the ratio perfect. 
to where when I was done eating my cereal, there was no milk in there. Which means I used very, very, very little milk. Yushiller says, I love milk, but I sadly don't drink as much of it anymore. I typically only get it these days with certain breakfasts, like Steven said, namely donuts or pancakes. Now, I do like, I do like, and also I, I think most people feel like this. I do like chocolate milk. That's because it's chocolate. It's a lot richer, too. Yeah, it is. As someone who only likes skim milk. And like... First off, no nowhere gives you free refills on on chocolate milk, so I very rarely you buy a gallon of it yourself. Well, occasionally, occasionally I will order chocolate milk with a breakfast. I gotta be in a really weird mood. It happens like once a year, but I'll order a chocolate milk, and some like you don't know what you're gonna get. That's the problem with restaurants. Is it could be one of these little things, mm -hmm. but sometimes. It's like, it's the real thing. It's the whole glass. And I, got, I always got to get a water with that because I'm going to be like, yeah, and then it's gone. And so I have to have something else to drink, but I like chocolate milk a lot. There was a weird period. Me and you have went through a lot of weird food things over the years, but there was a period, and I don't remember where we lived, where we were buying chocolate milk consistently. Columbia. Columbia? Mm -hmm. That's not it. Yeah, it is. I don't. I thought we had, we we lived here. If we did, it was like the first year we lived in the apartment here. There was there was a there was a a, a a little bit of time where we had been going to the store and like we would pick up chocolate milk. It wasn't every time. We just had it like. We had it more than we've ever had. Yeah. It was it was such a treat. But the problem is, you buy a quart, and a quart is four four glasses. Mm -hmm. That's all that the court is. So we would come home from the store and like we're children basically. We're like, we're so excited about this truck. We would talk about the chocolate milk on the ride home because we're so excited about this chocolate milk. We're like, oh my God, there's chocolate milk. We're gonna have chocolate milk, we're gonna have chocolate milk. It's honestly, it felt like a Portlandia sketch. And then we come in the door and, we're, and we put away the groceries and then we're, you know, we're putting away the chocolate milk. We're like, well, we should, we should have a cup of it. So then we get the two cups out and we pour ourselves these nice tall glasses of chocolate milk. The chocolate milk is now half gone. <laughs> we have just walked in the door. So we we take the, the last half of it, put it in the fridge, enjoy the chocolate milk. And then like later that night, we're like, that was really good chocolate milk. I like the chocolate milk, chocolate milk's really good. We should have the rest of that chocolate milk, chocolate milk. And then we have it and then it's gone. <laughs> and that was, uh, that was our experience with chocolate milk. And we did that like, for a while, mm -hmm. like every every other shopping trip, we would do that until it got out, out of our systems. <laughs> like after a month or so, we just you know we were done, and then we didn't we haven't done it since. But like, it's dangerous because I would do it again. Growing up, what percent milk did you drink? You know the answer to this. Skim. Okay. Skim. Me too. Everyone's got strong opinions about that. My dad wouldn't. Some people are going to call it white water. I mean, it is. When um, you know, my parents were divorced, so my mom would buy skim, and then my dad would buy two percent, and Carly liked two percent, but I was like, Ugh. and every so often in college, because it was a Wisconsin college, we would have giant things of milk, on like the drink bar. Yeah. At the um, cafeteria in college. And like there was so much milk. Like there was skim milk, 1%, 2%, chocolate. Like just huge bags of milk inside the machine. And like sometimes they'd be out of skim milk if I wanted it. And Haley taught me to put ice in 2% and it made it taste like skim. Interesting. Yeah, I mean. It was a life hack. I mean, again, like if I have the choice, I'm not going to get any milk but if I have to drink it it's gonna be skim but that's just what we had at home yeah because we we did we had milk at home consistently for cereal I eat a lot of cereal um, I don't really do that now but I go through phases where I'll eat have cereal yeah. but at home I, I, I had I'd had cereal a lot 600 bits from Rio Schiller says well you brought it up use these to get yourself some chocolate milk soon it's still the holiday season right 
Add chocolate milk to our grocery list. It's happening. Done. It's Thanks, happening. Siri. It's happening. Okay. Okay. I saw uh, <laughs> I saw a few people in the chat had mentioned like why not just get more than one chocolate milk at a time if you knew that you were gonna do that. And the problem is we would we eat it all. We eat it all. Did you ever do like Nesquik? No. Like. We always got the powder where you had to pry the metal thing up with the spoon and it would get really congealed with like the powder. But they had a banana one that you could put in your milk and make banana milk. Oh, so good. Do they still make the powder? Because I never liked the syrup. It had a weird taste to me. I remember growing up and seeing those... Um, Containers? Well, well, the commercials. There were, there were commercials for that, but mm -hmm. we never bought that ever. And I remember asking like mom once about that, like, what you know, we, we get chocolate milk because we, we we would buy chocolate milk at home when I was a yeah. kid. Um, I was like, well, what's up with the the stir? And mom would be like, oh, we don't do that. <laughs> like these with the metal okay. thing. And oh, that's would, the old I, one. Well, that's the real old one, but they still did this in like the early 90s with the metal tin top. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Well, 300 bits from Danny says, thank you, Steven. Everyone I know says it's weird because I'm also like that. I'll have milk with cereal or if it's flavored, chocolate or strawberry, but I cannot drink milk by itself. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not my favorite thing. It's not like if I was served milk. Some first off, where would I be? That I would serve milk without my consent. But you know, I would I would drink it. Um, but otherwise, eh. and I don't and I don't use milk otherwise for anything. Like I don't put milk in coffee. I don't put milk in tea. I don't use it. No. Besides, you know, the rare, the times I'll have cereal, and I can eat cereal dry, as everyone, <laughs> as everyone probably knows. I've never had strawberry milk, though. Oh, it's good. I'd probably, I mean, I, I don't know if I would like it, but, like, I'd probably like it less than chocolate, but more than white milk. Import reminders. Import chocolate milk? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Give me the chocolate Theory of Bits from Furious Kid eh? uh, says, uh, U.S. concepts I don't understand. Imperial system, Girl Scout cookies, milk. Oh, like our 1%, 2%? I wonder what the equivalent is. So in other countries, they don't have four different types of milk that all taste extremely similar, and the fact that we have all these different things is fairly arbitrary. I know that... I know that because I said that someone's about to be like, how dare you say that whole milk is anywhere close to... Skim. And they are technically different, but they're just, they're not that different. They're really not. So I know that I think in the UK and Australia, um, they use different canned milk than we do. Like our, um, what's it called? Because we have. <laughs> Everyone's saying they're very different. We have sweet and condensed, and we have evaporated and I think they're opposite in the UK or they're different like completely really? so like if you're looking at recipes you have to know that because like I use evaporated in pumpkin pie and I don't know what it is in the UK but it's not evaporated man because it's been such a long time since I've even tasted whole milk people are saying it's it's actually wildly different but I don't want to buy I've a gotten, thing of milk. I've gotten whole milk for baking or cooking. Now I want to have, now I want to taste. We could get a bunch of little ones and we could do a taste test. We could oh do God. strawberry oh and God. chocolate and. I mean, yes. I want, I want to taste the difference between skim and whole. Because there's apparently a big enough difference where a large portion of the chat is telling me that I need to experience the difference myself. I think the bad thing is like, I'm not gonna lie, it's a challenge because I don't wanna <laughs> drink these things. I don't like milk. So if, if it's like, now you have to try the milk. Oh God, all right. So 
So apparently in the UK they have whole, semi-skim, skim, and the, according to milk.co.uk they also have 1%. Coffee! Well, they're in a bit, uh... Oh wait, that was Furious Kiddus. <laughs> We answered the U.S. concepts you don't understand. Well, to the best of our ability. Uh, 502 bits from uh, BRZ1994. Just cheering. Uh, no message. BRZ, thank you. Appreciate it. Three months from Comic Queen 96. Been watching you guys for over eight years. Love what you do. Thank you. Congrats on your plus. I thought that was a doom chime. Yeah. I was like, and now it's time to reveal broken picture phone answers. And 300 bits from Satsu says, quick question, do you have ruby chocolate Kit Kats in the U.S.? I haven't seen them, but we've had them. Yeah, we've tried them, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we don't, I've never seen them. Of course, that might be the sort of thing that you'd have to get at, like, a specialty store? Yeah. It's probably not at the grocery checkout. No. We just tried a uh, Kit Kat. We tried the Chunk. The caramel one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's big. The red velvet ones are good. Yeah, they were. They were. Everyone's got like a particular kind that I they just, like. I want to go back to Japan and get the volcanic ones because we tried them when we were six, so we were all stuffed up. I just want to go back to Japan in general. I know, me too. There's more GameCube games to get. There were cinnamon ones? Cinnamon Kit Kats? <gasps> I missed out. But we tried I the, love cinnamon. But we tried the cinnamon Coke. Oh, we did. That was really good. I thought it was pretty good. Not something I would run all the time, but I was oh, like, I oh, would. you know. Because some of the the Coke's flavors that they've come out with, I've tried to have been like, oh, th why did you do this? This was obviously a mistake of creation. But actually, cinnamon, I was like, oh, cinnamon's fine. Cinnamon's good. <laughs> Japan 3? Nothing's planned. Yeah. I, I'll be willing to say, unless something wildly crazy happened, uh, not this year. Not this year. Too many other things I want to do that involve... <laughs> Chaz, I have a plan. Chaz, no. Don't go without us. We want to go with you. <laughs> yeah, Chaz, I didn't know if you've heard. You're legally not allowed to go anywhere without Mal and I now. It's just <laughs> how it is. Sorry. Um, just let us know your plans and we'll be there. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know when we'll be back to Japan, but that is obviously something we're still interested in doing. I mean, um, the first two times wasn't, like, thought out and planned. It was, hey, flights are $300, or er, was it three? Was it six? Six. Six, like, which is crazy, because like sometimes they're something. a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we based we based when we went around flights. Yeah. Because of the, the prices, you know. So Satsy well. says, can you go back up, because it was funny. Right there. I'd say they're your supervisors, but they're your just they're just your responsibility, Chess. Are we the kids in the back of the van going McDonald's, McDonald's? Chess pulls through and orders a single black coffee and rides away. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, we should probably we should probably wrap up, because we're at we're at we're at ten oh eight. Can you scroll up again for a second? Do, do you want the keyboard? No. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> just go, don't go during hurricane season. Yeah, we. I think we learned our lesson. We're going to try and not travel during that. August time. and September. Because that was... Maybe October. <laughs> that was... Not not our... Not what we'll Man, try to do again. We were watching Japanese Christmas commercials last night. And I was like, Christmas would be so much fun. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, vlogs are almost caught up. I know. Feels good. I know. Getting a bunch of other stuff done. I know. Feels good. Just let me stay here. <laughs> Just please let me stay here. Things get done when I get to stay here and it's great. On that subject, uh, I'm gonna let you guys go. Before I do, um, there will be two more vlogs today. Uh, hopefully two more tomorrow. Um, today, some at, some, at point. some point unknown, we're uh, I not we're you're not involved. Yeah, I'm not involved. I'm doing uh, first twenty stream on Twitch, so um, you know just take a peek at Twitch or Twitter. 
you can set it up where like it'll notify you. That might be your best bet. And then at some point we'll we'll be doing it. I've got a few games lined up, and then also uh, leave a slot open where um, you guys can recommend something to play, and we can play it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. Just I have some other things to do first, and then I have to get all that set up. And the setup just takes an unknown amount of time because I don't have it permanently set up, which is a pain. Such a pain. But, um, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm working with it the best I can. All right. Thank you so much for, uh, for being here this morning. Um, first 20 stream later today. And uh, if, I don't, if I don't see you then, have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. And we'll see you back Thursday at 9 a.m. 9 Eastern for more uh, breakfast stream.